Hey everyone, AppChasers.com here. I want to show you how to back up an app that's been removed or will be removed from the App Store. Sometimes Apple removes an app from the App Store and it's no longer available for purchase. Or other times a developer will remove their own app so that you cannot download it anymore. But if you've already downloaded that app, sometimes you can find it in your Purchase tab in the iTunes App Store on your iPad or iPhone. So you can see I've got the App Store open here and uh, if you look down here under the Purchased button, we'll tap that. Now there's a search box here that's available and I've already typed in an app that I have bought in the past but it's no longer available to buy again. However, it is in my purchased history and that means it's still on Apple's server. So they're still hosting the app, you just can't buy it again. But you can download it again if you've already bought it. So on the left hand side here I've typed in uh, Boxy which is the app that's been removed and uh, now I can download it again if I'd like. Now what about if an app has been removed from the App Store and it's no longer available on Apple's servers and uh, let's say it gets deleted off your device or some other way you lose the app from your iPhone. Well is there any way to get it back now that you can't download it directly from the App Store? Well yes there is and it involves using your computer and iTunes. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Let's go to the computer. Okay here we are on my computer. I've got iTunes up. That's right here. This window right here. And you can see I'm showing some of my music that I have in iTunes. But iTunes is really the key to being able to back up an app that's going to be removed for the, from the App Store or already has been. So let's go to the App Store here and we'll do that by going up to the menu bar and clicking on Store and Home. So now this is bringing up the iTunes Store. And we'll want to search for the app that we're interested in. In this example we'll search for the app called Equipped. Now Equipped has not been removed from the App Store yet but it will be removed as the developer has stated in the next couple of weeks. So we want to make sure we go ahead and download it now. So let's click on the buy button. If you've already bought Equipped uh, don't worry it's not going to charge you again it'll just allow you to download it to your computer. But here we click on buy. Now I'm going to type in my Apple ID. You'll want to type in yours and your password. This is the ID that you use on your iPhone and iPad too. So it's important to use the same ID because that ID is linked to the purchase of this app. So if it's purchased with another ID, uh, you won't be able to load it onto your iPhone. That's a way that Apple prevents piracy. So let's go ahead and log in here. Now since I have already purchased uh, Equipped, it's telling me that this update is free. So we'll say OK and now it's going to download Equipped to our computer. So you can see it's downloading it right here at the top of our screen. Now that Equipped is finished downloading, we want to see it in our purchased apps list. Right here at the top of the screen we've got different tabs. Right now we're in the App Store, but let's go over into uh, my apps button and we've got all the apps that we've purchased in the past that have been downloaded to our computer right here in this nice view. Right on the first page we have equipped. You can see it right here. So now that we have it there it's safe on our computer. However we may want to just make sure that we've got it backed up to another location besides in iTunes. I have a Dropbox window open up here on my computer that has some other apps that have been removed from the App Store that I wanted to keep a copy of. So let's drag Equipped. Let's go back into iTunes. We'll drag Equipped into that window and it's now going to save it to Dropbox. It doesn't remove it from iTunes but it saves a copy for uh, just a, another backup. Now what if you have an app that's already been removed from the App Store but you've previously downloaded it to your iPhone or your iPad and it's still on the device. Well you can back it up to your computer uh, with a very simple method here. I'm in the app view of iTunes but up at the top of our iTunes screen 
we've got different um, icons here. One showing that we're in the app view, but all the way to the far right here, we can see the devices that we are connected uh, to our computer. So connect your iPhone to your computer via the USB cable, and it'll show up here uh, under devices. This will work for iPad too. Let's go into our, our iPhone, and this is showing us that we've got an iPhone hooked up to the computer. So we've already downloaded Equipped to our iPhone, and now we want to transfer it from the iPhone to the computer for backup. This is after Equip's already been removed from the App Store. So let's go into iTunes File menu, then we'll go down to Devices, and transfer purchases from iPhone. That's the important one right there. Transfer purchases from your iPhone or iPad. So we'll click on that. Now it's going to look for apps that are on the iPhone that are not on the computer yet. So it looks like we've got 33 different ones that are being backed up here. At the top of the screen in our iTunes window, we've got the different apps that are on the phone that are not on the computer and it's now backing those apps up or copying them over to my computer. So we'll see if we see Equipped show up here. Okay, there's Equipped. You can see that it's now copying Equipped over to our uh, computer for backup. Okay, so now that we have Equipped copied over, we can go into our our uh, app view on iTunes. That's by tapping on these three dots here. Just hovering over that or clicking on it and we'll go into our apps view and we've got equipped right here again on the uh, on the computer already to be restored to the iPhone at any time. So let's again go into Dropbox and we'll drag that over just to make sure we have another backup. So now it's in our Dropbox here along with the other apps that have been removed from the App Store that we're making sure we keep a copy of. So anytime that you want to now restore a, um, an app to your iPhone or iPad that's already been removed, but it is backed up on your computer, then all you need to do is go into your devices again, go into the device that you're interested in. In this case, it's my iPhone. And we'll, on the left-hand side, tap on Apps. And you can see all the apps that are available on my computer. And you can see which ones are on the iPhone or not because they'll have this little install button if they're not on the iPhone or iPad. So we can go ahead and just install those at a future date. So that's how to back up uh, an app that has been or will be removed from the App Store onto your computer so that you can restore it to your iPhone or iPad at a later date. This has been AppChasers.com.